Ferdinand and Anna Stahl planted a seed in South America that would sprout under the ministry of other missionaries for years to come. In 1909, the Stahls left the United States. They served for many years in both Bolivia and Peru among the indigenous people, establishing schools and churches. They mentored other missionaries like the Fords, a newly married couple in their early 20s who set sail for what would be a lifetime of mission work throughout Central and South America. Meanwhile in Brazil, Leo and Jesse Hollowell were serving the people along the Amazon River. They spent years in one of the most difficult terrains to reach people. The Hollowells established the mission boats called Lucero, meaning light bear, which take church services and medical care to villages along the river. Throughout their 30 years of work, it's estimated that 250,000 people were served. To this day, the Hollowell's legacy lives on through the operation of Lucero boats, bringing hope and healing to people. The South American region is home to more than 2.5 million Seventh-day Adventists. Many of these church members minister to their communities in creative ways. When Jair was growing up in Brazil, people thought of him as untrustworthy and someone who caused problems. Later in his life, he learned about the Adventist message and decided to give his heart to Jesus. Upon accepting Christ into his life, Jair wanted to use his talents to help others. He remembered what people thought of him and came up with an innovative way to offer a better experience to kids in his community. Jair has a bicycle workshop that is transformed into an urban center of influence. He called the children from the local Adventist church and encouraged them to invite neighborhood friends to ride their bikes. More than 30 children participated. Jair fixed up old bicycles and gave them to the children who didn't have one. They called the activity Friends of the Bike. They started doing this every Sunday and it became routine to have Bible studies after the bike ride. As a result, two children have been baptized and another three are ready to give their hearts to Jesus. Today, the community trusts Jair and knows he has changed. The same people who criticized him in his youth are now sending their children and grandchildren to his bike shop to be part of the program. Jair is just one example of how church members in the South American region are taking total member involvement to heart and enthusiastically spreading a message of hope to the people around them. Please pray for this part of the world and the exciting ways God is working there. Thank you for supporting Mission. My name is Teana Nascimento da Silva. I am a dentist and I live in Belém in Pará. My name is Iris Senna. I'm a physician specializing in family medicine, and I live in Belém, Pará. I am training as a dental surgeon, but my routine involves academic study. I am studying medicine as well. I'm a doctor in a town in the interior of Pará. We assist families in a health center called the Family Health Strategy. As a doctor and a dentist, Dr. Iris and Dr. Tayana were excited when they heard an invitation to join the Luzero 29. I have seen people sitting in a plastic chair in the middle of the countryside living in poor conditions, and we did what we could. Sometimes we could only make fluoride applications and essential services. When I arrived on the boat, I almost fell back when I entered and saw the clinic structure. I was so excited. I would make videos and send them to my family. I would say, guys, there's a whole office inside the boat. I thought I was going to get here and not find that. A very capable structure for the services. There's a lot of collaboration with donating medicines, with supplies for the work in my area and others. It was very encouraging. Also, the work itself, which is the best of all. In the most remote places, there is a lack of basic health information. 
so an essential part of the doctor's job is to educate people with good health practices. The most common thing that comes in is decayed teeth. We do a lot of restorations and, unfortunately, we do a lot of extractions. If I find someone without cavities, I think they are infrequent, just a few cases. I think I can count them on one hand. The most common in children, young people, is germs. We talk about the purification of water, about the correct way to wash your fruits, vegetables, legumes, and everything else to avoid contamination. There's no point in giving medicine today. Next week, they eat poorly again, use untreated water, and unfortunately, they can get the disease again. Sometimes, one toothbrush is used for the whole family, or more than one person in the house. That's common. Then, no, look, here's a toothbrush for you. One for your father, one for your mother. Don't let everybody use the same brush because the disease you have will pass on to others. The lack of information is so significant that this information, super simple for us, that we were born knowing, practically for them, it's new. Iris and Tayana's stories began in different places. They first met on this Luzero 29 adventure. Their story is about how they cared for people, but it is also a story of love. I came as a dentist and he came as a doctor. We met for the first time in the van going to the boat. There, we started talking and started a friendship. When we left, we did academic work with the data from here. The friendship continued until we started dating a few months later. Then after that, a little bit later, we got married. Sometimes I feel like I'm inside a dream. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling, like you're looking at your life from the outside. You look and you say, wow, it even looks like a dream. Is it really true? When I look at the opportunity to be working here, I feel like an active part, like being an extension of God's arms. I can tell you that it is a very great feeling of gratitude. From Dr. Iris and Dr. Tayana's perspective, it's heartwarming to do good. However, they recognize that there are still thousands of lives that need care and the love of Jesus. It will still take many miles of sailing and many years to continue seeing, feeling, and living Project Luzero. At the end of the day, however, when we lay our head on the pillow, we feel that sense of mission accomplished, of duty fulfilled. To be able to remember that I was able to help someone, that there were people who left here smiling, thanking me because they weren't feeling pain anymore, because they were going to be able to sleep at night. That's the best payoff, I think.